Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're actually going to break up what we've done now regarding the player being able to punch. We're going to break it down into two different scripts now. And the reason for this is so we can assign different damage values to something, let's say, like a left jab to a right hook. So, it's more about adding than changing, although there will be some change changes. But it's more about adding to the scripts. And just a word of note, this may break your project until we finish. So, if you'd sooner wait for the next video, I'm not sure if we'll get it all done in one video before you and do both at the same time so your project continues to work uh, I'll leave that up to you so yeah in fact I will start with the one player the the player one movement sorry so let's have a look we're going to change this line the public static bewall underscore player is punching. And all we're going to do is change that and put left on the end. Let's just copy and paste that below. And we'll also change that to right. And I'll just add it into the comments. And now we'll come down to the void start. Player is punching and we'll change that to left. Still equals false. And we'll add left to the comment. Again, let's copy and paste it in below. We'll just change left to right and the same in the comment. No need for any other changes. And let's scroll all the way down. So we're going to come to the private void, wait for animations again. We're going to change to left. And we'll also copy and paste that below for right as well. And again, we'll just change the comment. So let's just save that for now. And let's come In fact, let's come to Unity itself. Don't worry about the errors. Like I said, this is going to break it until we've been through everything. So, let's have a look. Opponent head hit. So, this is our code as it stands. What I'm actually going to do is close both of those. I'm going to come to this script. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it and duplicate it again. I'm just going to delete the original. You, of course, could always um, store that in a separate folder. Maybe call, put a folder into scripts, call it something like obsolete. But I'll leave that for you to decide. So, opponent head hit. Let's rename. And I'm going to call this player punch left. 
And obviously, I'm sure you've guessed, we're going to change the other one to player punch right. We'll open up these scripts. Now we do need to change the public class at the very top. Put in public, don't know why. Player punch left. Let's just save that off. And we'll open up the player punch right script and we'll change it to right here. So let's save that off as well. So let's come, I'll begin with player punch left. Private bool, return if player is punching, and I will change the naming convention. I'll add left to it also. Again, I'll add to the comments. So, void update. Let's just copy that na new naming convention, and we're going to paste it in here, here, and here as well. So I'll just tidy up the comments very quickly. I'll just add left to the comments. Player one movement player is punching left. So we'll change that mistake now. Or red error, however you want to wish to edit it. And we'll just change the comment there as well. Okay, we'll need to come back and change this, but we'll do that later. Let's just save that, play a punch right. So again, we're just going to change this naming convention. The player is punching right. And we'll just go through and add it to the comments very quickly. Again, we'll just tidy those up. Super quick. Player is punching right for that single red error we have left. So we'll change it there as well. Let's save that off. And let's downsize. So we've still got some red errors. I'm not too worried about that. Now we need to come to the opponent AI. So we'll begin in the enum. Opponent hit head. Let's give this a new naming convention of um let's have a think. I'm going to put opponent hit by left punch. We'll copy and paste that below, just change left to right. And let's go through. So the case for opponent hit head. We'll just copy and paste all three lines in. And we'll ch start by changing the first one to our new naming convention of opponent hit by left punch. We'll change it there as well. And the same for the opponent hit by right punch. So 
Okay, that's both of those in place now. So let's come down. So private void opponent hit head. Let's just copy. So we're going to copy the whole function. And we'll change it to opponent hit by left punch. We'll also change that in the debug log. I'll just paste it into the other. We'll change left to right. And again, we'll copy and paste that into the debug log. So let's have a log vector three impact point. Sorry, it's going to be equal to player punch left we'll change it in the comments as well So let's go through now. We'll change opponent hit by right punch. So player punch right. And we'll also change this as well. Let's just get rid of that. So that is fine and you know something we may get this all done in one lesson so that is good um, that should be everything for the opponent AI so we'll come back to the player one movement so let's have a look. It's the attack input manager. So this one's the player is punching left. That one to player is punching right. What I might do if we can get all the coding done in this lesson and we'll probably test it out in a separate video because this is getting quite a long lesson now so let's just see what happens when we let it recompile. So here we go, opponent head struck. I did say earlier we'd have to come back to this and I completely forgot but never mind. Player punch right. What did we call it? Opponent hit by right punch. We'll just copy and paste that into the comment so that's that done. And opponent hit by left punch. And we'll copy and paste that in. So let's save that all off. Let's check the errors. Make sure I haven't missed any. And don't worry about all these yellow errors. They will eventually be fixed as we go along. And obviously... If there is any left at the end of the series, we'll go ahead and fix those as well. But hopefully that should not be the case. But um, we should be fixing, or we will be fixing them as we go along. 
mainly it's just due to certain things not being used as of yet but of course they will be used later um, some of them are to do with the standard assets in Unity. Uh, I'm not worried about those. I'll probably just re-import those. They, that normally tends to fix everything. So, I think we'll leave it here for this video. In the next lesson, we'll start to um, reset up the characters. And we'll test the game out. Probably do... Maybe a couple of other little bits as well. So remember the scripts aren't assigned. And we've deleted the old script. So again you can use the old script. And the uh, project will continue to work. For now. Until the next video. But obviously after the next video. The old script will be completely obsolete. So don't be frightened if you've deleted it and your project does not work. We'll fix that in the next lesson, which is going to be more about setting everything up. So, as I said, I think we'll leave it here for this video. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.